I want to salute you, homie, you know, for, for building your own thing and doing your own thing, creating your own platform, your own website. With my boy Alfred, I'm Mr. Talaferro. MrTalaferro.com. Right now, I'm about to go to Walmart. <laughs> <laughs> Just to see you with your logo on your mics. From you rock with MrTalaferro.com. Y'all go to MrTalaferro.com, it's going down. My biggest gift is my voice. It allows me to speak to the culture. All right now, you're turning up. On MrTalaferro.com, shawty. So I've seen a lot of people still upset with the fact that Kevin Durant has left Oklahoma City. He left a small market team. He's going to Golden State, a team on top. It's in the players' hands. Dwayne Wade left Miami. The players don't show any loyalty. I'm sorry. When has loyalty ever been a thing that these owners have shown the players, these GMs, will trade you in a minute. When you pass your prime, they'll get rid of you. They'll trade you for a first-round pick. In a minute, in a heartbeat. Hell, Trey Burke just got traded for a eighth grader, a 2021 pick, an eighth grader. They'll trade you for anything if they feel as though they're getting a better talent in the future or a better player in return. So don't give me that about, about – you know, don't give me that crap about being loyal and all that, man. I'm happy to see African-American players finally have control, be able to stand up to these rich owners, these billionaire owners who make tons of money every year. We just don't see their contracts. Their contracts aren't put out in the open. We don't understand the financial gains that these owners make off players, these owners who have no idea what it's like to play in a 48-minute basketball game outside of Michael Jordan, another African-American who worked his butt off, by the way, have, who have no idea what it's like to, to be on a basketball court, and they get mad. They get upset that players can't come through, win championships for them. I get that. But for a player like Kevin Durant, who's played his butt off, average 30 pretty much his career, I'm happy for him, damn it. I'm happy that the, the, the power with the new collective bargaining agreement and everything is, has left the owners and is into the players' hands. Look at the NFL. You got players risking their lives every day, can be released and cut in the blink of an eye because of an injury. What? I risk my life? I play the toughest sport there is? I, half the players in the league can't even remember their name at the age of 40? You mean to tell me you can cut me, release me? There's no guarantees in what I do unless I throw the football? Nah. No, no, no. I like what the NBA has done. The, the power is in the players' hands, and I respect that. Salute to everybody involved in the, la in the collective bargaining agreements, and from the Chris Pauls, the LeBron James, to everybody involved in, from the, 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 the Players Association on down. I love it. Love the power being put in the players' hands, letting these African-Americans have their, the power to say so, like a LeBron James who will sign a one, two-year deal, and he'll be the GM. He's, he's pretty much the GM, and if you don't get it right, you don't get what he, what he wants, he'll leave you. He'll leave your organization. I love it. And it's like we, we're the only – basketball is the only sport where we're knocking players for getting control back, for getting – for baseball players have been having that power and that control for years. Now we're mad at NBA players, African-American players, being owners of their own business, in essence being entrepreneurs, controlling their outcome. Now we're upset about that. I just don't get it, man. I just don't get it in this society. Salute to these NBA players for getting their, their just due, especially those of like the LeBron James and the Kevin Durant of the world who put the work in, who put the time in, who just are more than just talents, who players who panned out in the league, who are in the gym every day. I'm happy for y'all. And I hope y'all get everything that's owed to y'all on that court because of the hard work that y'all put in. Salute. I want to thank you for taking time out of your day to watch my interview, my performance, or maybe it was a feature story. Now, right now, you can either subscribe to my channel or you can watch other performances. Thank you for taking the time out. It's MrTelefero.com. After seeing Drake's